This spring, I had the chance of a lifetime. I was given a really cool tour of Puesta del Sol, a net zero building in my school district, Bellevue. Puesta is a green building and green building is a system. Today, we're going to look at one element of this system. Energy Conservation Technologies Puesta del Sol tackles energy conservation in a few different ways. I'm going to explore two of them, smart ventilation and on-off outlets. We all need oxygen to breathe, yeah? Buildings are required to have a ventilation system to filter in fresh air for us to breathe. But during lunch and recess, the classrooms are empty. There's no need for fresh air. This is where occupancy sensors come in. Just like a thermometer measuring the temperature of the air, an occupancy sensor measures the level of CO2, carbon dioxide, in the air. CO2 is the byproduct of us breathing. When classrooms are empty and oxygen levels are satisfied, the brain tells the ventilation system not to send fresh air to that room. It's not needed. Variable air volume units at entry and exit vents to the classroom open and close, depending on the room's air needs. If less air is needed, the valve closes a little, meaning less air is delivered and less is pulled out of the room. Moving air takes a lot of energy, and occupancy sensors prevent unnecessary air movement. Energy is being saved. The next method of energy conservation I'm going to tackle today are the always-on and on-off outlets in Puesta's classrooms. Did you know that even when most devices are turned off, they're still using electricity? They're in standby mode, ready to be turned on in a moment's notice. But at 11 p.m. on a Sunday night, no teacher needs their copier to be running. To combat wasted electricity from vampire and standby loads, Puesta's walls have two different types of power outlets always on and on off. Always on outlets are important to connect to the internet router or your computer, stuff you always need to be on and running in the building. On and off can connect to DVD players, speakers and printers that can and should be turned off at the end of the day. These outlets make it easy. Instead of needing to unplug appliance after appliance, a singular location ensures energy is saved. Of course, this only works if staff members and students are paying attention to their outlet use and plugging in with sustainability in mind. If you had to pick just one, which method of energy conservation would you want to implement in your school? Today, we looked at one small part of green building, but Puesta isn't alone. What's happening here matters to my school district. When I go to the Bellevue School District website, I see their sustainability policy. Bellevue is one of the first districts in Washington to have a sustainability policy. Green building is also important to my city, Bellevue. When I go to my city's website, I see this pie chart. Energy use in buildings is half the problem, but we have a whole plan to solve it. My city is part of a climate alliance with 18 other cities called K4C. Look it up. Hi, I have another fun fact for you. Even if you don't have that fancy on and off outlet in your house, you can achieve the same thing with a strip cord. At night, just turn off that master switch.